Hello everyone, I'm Octavian and welcome to the Unreal Engine 5 FPS tutorial series by Infima Games. In this video, we're going to be adding reloading functionality to the weapon. Not only that, but we're finally going to make that ammuni ammunition counter usable. Let's just get started. The first thing we need to do is we're going to go, as always, to the content drawer. I told you last video that we needed to add a magazine to the assault rifle because we haven't done that yet and it's been a lot of videos since we have this in the project. So to do that, I'm just going to go to the weapon blueprint. Under the assault rifle, I'm going to click add and I'm going to click static mesh. Let's name this magazine. And then under static mesh, I'm going to try to find the assault rifle magazine. As you can see, that's the one. And then I'm going to click on parent socket i'm gonna set this to magazine that will immediately just parent it if it doesn't just parent it for you make sure you reset all the transform values here with that our weapon finally has a mag you probably can't see it um, but we are also getting super weird effects again we're spawning the explosions in our face and i'm moving backwards if i move forward so to fix that make sure that the magazine has no collision so just go down here and click no collision under collision presets and save. Now everything should be working. Great. Now the next step for us is we're going to be subtracting ammunition whenever we fire. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. That was F1. Um, we're going to be subtracting ammunition from our ammunition counter whenever we fire. So for now it's 45. It, it doesn't do anything when I fire. So this is going to be super simple. I'm going to go to the content drawer find the character blueprint and then inside of here let's find the fire event or the shoot event input action shoot right here so this is the one this is all of our shooting functionality and then somewhere here it doesn't really matter where so i'm just going to do it right at the end when we spawn our explosion i'm going to take our current ammunition va value that we added in one of the last videos and what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag it and i'm going to say minus or subtract and we're just going to say one and then we're going to set that variable right back to that so this is just going to subtract one from that variable now our ui is already set up to understand that we want to reflect this value so if i shoot now you will see that we are getting perfectly fine uh, ammunition counter updating it is, this is going to go to minus two so that is not what we want what we do want is to make sure that we can only fire until we have zero ammunition so the way to do that is we're going to go back to where last video we checked whether we're not running and not close to a wall to ensure that we can fire and what i'm going to do is i'm also going to check if we have enough current ammunition so to do that i'm going to drag current ammunition and i'm going to say bigger than zero and we can just and so that's going to check this stuff and that the current ammunition is bigger than zero and only going to return true if all of that is true. So I'm going to compile and save. And now if I shoot, this is going to take a while because I made the ammunition 45. But if I keep shooting and then it gets to zero, I cannot shoot anymore, which is basically what we wanted because the next thing we're going to do is add reload functionality. So this is finally the time to resolve this. OK, so how do we add reloading? Well, we will need an input action. We will also need to make the montage. But before that, let's make the input action, as I just mentioned. So to make the input action, go to the content drawer, go to data. Just like any of our other input actions, I'm going to right click, go to input, input action, IA reload. We don't need to do anything inside of it. Let's go to the input mapping context. I will add a mapping. Naturally, this is going to be the reload mapping I just created. And I will set its button to R. That's all we needed to do in there. Now, just like all the other times, now we have an event inside of the character blueprint, which is IA reload. And in here, we can do a lot of things. To start, all I'm going to do is I'm going to set the current ammunition right here to the total ammunition. And this is why I made a total ammunition variable. I'm going to get that and just set it like this. And as a matter of fact, by default, I'm also going to set the current ammunition to just be the same number as the total ammunition. OK, so that just sets that. If I go back here and I shoot and then I press R, it automatically kind of fills it in. 
which is great. That's exactly what we wanted. So now the next step is to make that montage for the reload. I can do that, and you've seen you've seen this before. We can do that by going to Art, Assault Rifle, Animations, and we're going to need to make two montages, one for the character and one for the weapon. Let's start with the character one because that one's going to be more visible. And if I find Reload right here, so AFP, Assault Rifle Reload, let's ensure that we make this additive like I explained in one of the past videos. Local space. We're going to go selected animation frame. This animation was built on top of the idle pose. So let's use that right there. And now let's make a montage out of this. So if I go back to the content drawer, right click, create, create anim montage. Rename this to AM and remove the montage at the end. Now we can open it. It's going to look a little bit weird. In fact, you're going to see that the hands do a little bit of a weird thing. I believe last time they didn't do this and it might have been because we already had it open. Um, all you need to do to fix this is just go to preview base pose and assign the same idle pose you used to kind of set the additive. And then it will work properly. Also make sure to remove the blend time. If everything is correct, we're not going to need any blend. And then we don't need to change the slot or anything of that sort. We are also not going to do any kind of aiming slot uh, specific stuff or anything of that sort. So this is basically it for the character montage. Now let's go back to the character blueprint and we're going to play it just like we play every other montage. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go to the shooting input action right here. And I'm just going to copy the way we play our montage here. So just copy that, put it there. And let's, instead of this one, let's play Reload. One more thing that I'm going to do before we play, though, is that, as always, remember that these triggered by default, this triggered event runs every frame, so while we hold the key. So let's make sure we're doing that do once trick to make it play only once, and then we, we are resetting that whenever we stop holding the key, so we can do that again. And with that, this should work. Let's, te let's test it. So if I compile and play and I press R, you can see that our reload montage is playing. And that's great. It looks really good. Now, there's a bunch of issues. I can cancel it by firing, which actually you might not mind. Um, I can't see it while aiming, but I can transition oddly like that. And uh, I can probably also play it while here. Oh, I can't actually, which is great. Um, so let's start by fixing one small issue, which is the fact that we're not really syncing the magazine in with the ammunition update at the bottom left. So we can fix that super easily if I just go back to the character. And instead of setting the current ammunition back to the total ammunition immediately, I'm going to drag that after this reload here. And we're going to add from this pin, we're going to add a delay. And you're going to need to tune this a little bit. And the duration value, I mean. And let's say after 0.2 seconds, we're going to set the ammunition to that value. Let's see if this syncs it. So if I shoot and then I reload. Nope, that was way too little time. So let's try like one second. So I fire, I reload. That was way too quick still. Let's try two seconds. This is just a process of trying. That was pretty good. I actually think it's probably something like 1.9 that seems to be correct. You can also go to the uh, animation sequence itself and check the timing. Yeah, 1.9 seems to be really good. So we're going to go with this. So now it's pretty much synced. As a matter of fact, just because I'm a bit perfectionist, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I'm just going to set this to 1.85 because I think that's even better. But in any case, yeah, that seems to be really good. So in any case, we can go with that now. We already have this. What we have still, what we still need to do, sorry, is to add the weapon montage. So as we did with the fire, we're going to need to do that in the weapon blueprint. Well, we don't need to, but it is easier to do there. So the way we did it last time is I called a event or sorry, a function inside of a interface that is assigned in the weapon blueprint. So I'm going to go to that same interface. I'm going to duplicate the shoot function and just call it reload. This is again the blueprint interface weapon. Then if I compile, go to weapon, inside under interfaces, it's gonna say reload. So I can right click and implement event. And I will just copy this weapon right here. Or sorry, this play montage right here with the weapon reference. 
And then inside of here, we still need to make the montage. So let's go to art and let's make that montage. That's again, quite simple. I can just right click on the reload montage. We don't need to do much else. Just create animation montage. Let's rename it a bit. So AM and then remove the montage. Let's open it, remove any blending. And then you can just save and go back to the weapon blueprint. And then in here, you can just assign it. Compile, save, and then play. Now, if I reload, it's still not gonna do anything. We haven't called this function. So go to blueprint character. And just like we're doing here with the shoot function, we're gonna need to get the equipped weapon index from the equipped weapons array. So let's copy this. And right after we reload and not after the delay, make sure we need to play or sync these animations. So we're gonna need to do this before delaying. Right here, I'm going to call reload. Reload message is what it's going to be called. And now we can compile and save and everything should be correct. As you can see, our magazine is moving. We can reload our weapon. Everything seems to look really good. Now let's get to fixing some of the small issues that we have. One of them is I can't see the reload while I aim. It's going to look a little weird with uh, just this reload because it's not meant for aiming, but I'm at least going to make it visible. So if I go to the animations folder and then I go to the AMFP reload, the character reload, I can duplicate the default slot and use that aiming slot that we made earlier. So this will ensure that we also play this montage when we're aiming. So if I reload now, you can see that I can reload both aimed and not aimed which at the very least looks pretty cool. Let's also fix a few other things. One is that I can cancel a reload by firing. You can fix this quite easily, really. We can just add a Boolean while we're reloading and then make sure we cannot fire in that time. If you like that, just, uh, just skip this part, but basically I'm still gonna do it. So um, we can add a Boolean for reloading. So I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate running be reloading is what I'm going to call it. And it is as simple as adding this, setting it to true right before we play the montage. I'm going to move all of this to the right so we can make some space for that. And then the way to stop it whenever we finish the montage is going to this blend out node right here, which says called when montage starts blending out and is not interrupted. So right here, we're going to Again, drag reloading and set it to false right there. This won't stop you from shooting, but now we have a Boolean that tells us if we're reloading. So we can now go with that to the shooting event, which again, we can do by going to event graph, IA shoot. And then just like we did with all of this other, all of this, these other checks, I can add one more and this is already getting a little bit cluttered. I can add one more check. So I will drag this to the left. I will say and, and boolean, and I will drag the reloading value and check that we are not, not nor, not reloading. So this will make sure that we are also not reloading and only be able to fire then. So if I now, I can fire and if I reload, I'm holding fire, nothing's happening. Nothing is happening, which is great. Awesome. Now, let us also fix a few other small details, one of which is that I can start a reload when I'm lowered and I cannot see it. This is because we're not, uh, we don't have a animation slot for this specific state, so that is not visible. We can go ahead and just make one and make it the reload visible, or there's also other ways to go about this. We can, for example, stop reloading then, but that would be a bit more complicated. So let's just add the idle animation slot to there. So if I go to core, animation blueprint character, and then I find where we do this kind of lowered pose. So for example, right here is our crouching. This is our aiming. This is our running. This is our lowered state right there. Now inside of the lowered state, I can just grab this default slot right here and place it right after the animation, for example, or even right after everything right here. And now if I compile and save, 
and go to a wall like this, I can press reload and it will reload. Now I will be synced with everything else and we won't have any kind of weird issues. Same for running, that's already going to work or jumping, sorry, that's already going to work by default. So now I can fire, I can run out of ammunition and then I can reload and that's going to play well aimed, it's going to play well normal and then I can immediately fire again and destroy all these cubes and characters and everything. So that's already looking really good. The last thing we're going to do in this tutorial, and not this video, but this series, is we're going to be adding the holstering animations that we have in the project. Those are the last animations we have that we have not added just yet. So that's what you can expect from the next video. I hope I will see you in the next one.